we'll start psychometric chart today. So in a previous class, we talked about, uh, you know, the definitions uh, related to psychometric chart, like the sensible heat, latent heat, enthalpy, and so on. Uh, we started our construction uh, using a graph sheet. Like in this uh, lecture, we'll be focusing on the detailed perspective of psychometric chart and its construction, right? So without further ado, let's get started. Right, so this is the first uh, step. Uh, if you take a graph sheet, uh, you can divide uh, the axis into uh, equal lengths, um, like the grids lines. Uh, the uh, x-axis represents the dry bulb temperature in degree Fahrenheit. And y-axis, uh, I've changed the uh, left-hand orientation of the y-axis to the right-hand orientation. And uh, because we need to uh, consider the enthalpy and other related concepts uh, in the psychometry. Um, so we take the x-axis as a dry bulb temperature and right-hand side y-axis as humidity ratio, right? So it ranges from uh, zero, actually it ranges from zero to two ten humidity ratio and uh, the dry bulb temperature, uh, the x-axis ranges from uh, 20 to 120 with five uh, units variation, right? So, and this is 10 units variation, right? Something like that. Right, so uh, this is what we left in the previous class. Uh, in today's lecture, we'll be focusing much uh, uh, on uh, the construction uh, aspects uh, using the uh, saturation point and other related stuff regarding psychometry. Right, so this is the saturation point or 100 uh, percentage relative humidity, and this will be given to you for plotting the uh, psychometric chart. Right, so for example, for 20 degree Fahrenheit, the uh, saturation point, uh, which is the maximum point uh, at which the humidity ratio is held higher and above which it is not possible and below it can reduce it to further, right? So this 100 percentage relative humidity and it ranges from 15 to uh, 586 and for the uh, differential temperature like 20 to 120 degree Fahrenheit, right? So this will be given. So this is the key input for our construction. So once you create the psychometric, uh, you know, grid lines, then next step is incorporating the saturation point. Say for example, the first step for 20 degree Fahrenheit, the saturation point is 15, approximately around rounded up to near decimal. It is actually 14.7, so I just rounded up to near decimal, call 15. And for 25 uh, degree Fahrenheit, uh, it is 19 uh, as the humidity ratio. And for 30 uh, degree Fahrenheit, it is 24. And 35 uh, degree Fahrenheit is 30. And 40 degree uh, Fahrenheit is 36. And for 45, it is uh, 44 humidity ratio. And 50 degree is 53. 55 degree, it is 64. And then uh, 60 degree is 77. And 65 is 92. And 70 is triple one. And 75 degree Fahrenheit is 132. 80 degree Fahrenheit is 155. And 85 degree Fahrenheit is 184. And 90 degrees actually 218, but we don't have uh, you know access uh, about 210, so we will keep it uh, exactly the point of intersection of it, like something else here. So this is actually uh, 89 degree Fahrenheit, which uh, lies on 210, and anything above uh, will be uh, you know uh, beyond this uh, limit uh, y limit height of this graph, right? So it's understood. Once you make this uh, saturation line, you have to connect this with a smooth curve, right? So this will be a smooth curve and it connects all the points uh, and more uh, legibly. And then um, for in exam, you can probably uh, erase the dots and make this line very smooth or you can retain it. It does not make any uh, difference. But now, once you make that, so you have to convert it to uh, this kind of a trapezoidal like uh, you know, shape curvature here and other uh, stops are straight. So this is our psychometric chart, the outline of our psychometric chart. And remember that this line, this curvature is 100 degree, 100 percentage relative humidity. So it's 100 percentage relative humidity. And uh, since um, we need to plot uh, the other percentage of relative humidity, uh, generally in a real psychometric chart, they have plotted in uh, variation of 10 percentage, like 90 percentage relative humidity, 80 percentage relative humidity, and so on, till uh, zero percentage, which is a flat line here, right? Uh, for the exam, it'll be very difficult to plot all the 10 percentage variation. So you could use 20 uh, percentage variation, like 80, uh, 60, and 40, and related, something like that. Or you can even go with uh, 25 degree uh, 
you know, relative humidity variation, like 100, 75, 50, and 25. There will be only three. So uh, in this uh, video, we'll talk about um, the 25 uh, percentage variation or 75 percentage relative humidity and 50 percentage relative humidity and 25. And after that is a flat line. So zero percentage relative humidity, right? So how do we find out um, 100 percent, you know, 75 percentage relative humidity from 100 percentage is that? We know from our uh, table, table or column, this is for 100 percentage. So when you uh, take this as 100 percentage and when you convert this for 75 percentage, and that will be the 75 percentage relative humidity. So for example, uh, for 100 percentage, it is uh, 15. For 75 percentage, it is 11. Say, for example, 100 percentage, uh, the saturation point at 25 degree Fahrenheit is 19. For 75 percentage, it is just 14, and so on. So once you calculate from the given saturation point, 100 percentage uh, relative humidity, um, the, the required percentage uh, relative humidity, say 75, 50, and 25, you can plot a curve like this. Let me show you. Once you plot 100 percent relative humidity, you can probably plot 75 percentage relative humidity and then uh, 50 percentage uh, relative humidity and 25 percentage relative humidity. So once this is done, um, you know, the next is zero percent relative humidity, which is the flat line, or you can ignore that. So this is what you can do. Or if you are uh, very interested in plotting uh, for uh, your understanding the 20 percentage variation, then this will be 80 percentage and somewhere above and uh, 60 percentage somewhere above this and uh, 40 uh, and 20 and so on right something like that so this is typically the relative humidity so this is the first stage uh, we have just made the boundary and then we just plotted the uh, relative humidity using the given uh, saturation point next step is to find out the uh, um, wet bulb temperature so to do so uh, you just connect a point from the starting point of this uh, particular psychometric uh, curve and the ending point or the so-called uh, the termination point uh, of the uh, y-axis or here 210 which is actually 89 uh, degree Fahrenheit so that will be a line and you take an uh, oblique line say 36 degree uh, probably I've checked with psychometry roughly it will be around 32 to 36 degree for uh, easier understanding and construction, we will take all 36 degree, right? So a saturation point here, which is 15, and we take 36 degree line, and that line uh, bisects as uh, 30.90, right? So, something like that. so once you construct this line, so this is the uh, dry, wet bulb temperature for 20 degree Fahrenheit. So once you construct this line, then you will be constructing the parallel lines uh, using this line based on the uh, saturation point as the starting point. So the next will be, uh, this is for uh, 25 uh, degree Fahrenheit. You can see that the vertical line corresponds to the saturation point here. And then this line is the parallel line to this. And that intersects roughly somewhere around uh, 38 or something like that. Right? And then you continue the process for all the saturation points. You get a perfect, uh, you know, linear line, inclined line uh, till uh, 90 degree Fahrenheit, right? So uh, you can even still plot uh, the other degrees above 90, but it will go beyond this graph. So this is the uh, wet bulb temperature, right? And once it is done, you can uh, label them like uh, 20 degree Fahrenheit, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, and 90 degree Fahrenheit. So once you do that, so this blue color line represents wet bulb temperature and so on, right? So 20 degree Fahrenheit, 25 degree Fahrenheit, 30 degree Fahrenheit, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, and 90 degree Fahrenheit. So this completes uh, 75 percentage of your uh, psychometric Chart, right so this is very important uh, we have constructed the oblique line say with 36 degree and we have marked all the uh, wet bulb temperature for the corresponding dry bulb temperature right. so once that is done uh, this so the 36 degree so the 36 degrees from that orange line no no it is uh, it is approximately from the saturation point you take saturation point and you take an uh, tangent and from that it is 36 degree Okay, sir.
So you can consider this as a triangle. Uh, I'll zoom it so that you can understand much better. You consider this as a triangle. And this is roughly 36 degree. And if it is 36 degree and this will be 54 degree uh, and this is 90 degree. So some of the angles of a triangle is 180 degree. So that is how it is from this point. It is 36 degree. So or you can take it from here 36 degree and you mark a line and same way from this. 36 degree and you mark this line. You understand? Yes, sir. Okay. All right, so this is a very important thing. Uh, roughly we have covered 75 percentage of this construction and then enthalpy. Actually enthalpy has to be marked with uh, you know, scale line, but uh, it'd be very difficult in examination. So you can mark the initial point as zero and uh, the 89 degree Fahrenheit is 53 and above that is not there because the uh, maximum limitation is 210. The y axis is 210. So it goes actually goes on depending upon the uh, you know uh, the curvature and something like that. Fine. So uh, generally um, in many textbooks uh, they have extended this uh, you know um, the wet bulb temperature to uh, hit the enthalpy line and then it will be marked. Uh, but uh, actually if you take a real psychometric chart uh, there will be a variation um, with the entro enthalpy value and this uh, psychomet uh, this dry bulb, uh, wet bulb temperature. So in that case, um, you know, it is always uh, better to leave it as such like zero because these lines does not coincide uh, with the uh, en enthalpy line. So just leave it with a zero and 53, right? So this is the uh, final uh, portion. This is actually roughly 90 percentage or this could be even 100 percentage psychometric construction. So this is uh, fairly simple and fairly clear. You can see all these uh, rays are pretty clear, but in a real psychometric chart, uh, you will find uh, the dry bulb temperature is also marked with the vertical lines and corresponding, um, you know, uh, humidity ratio is also mapped, say, for example, like this. So in this case, um, this, uh, you know, legit, bit, legit diagram uh, gets you know a uh, uh, lot of other lines. So I just uh, use different colors to indicate uh, the lines. So it will be easy for you to understand. But in exam you'll be using with uh, only single color for drawing. So it looks like a little uh, you know uh, clumsy. But uh, when you follow the procedure like that I mentioned from starting from relative humidity, then uh, construct the wet bulb temperature, then you do the uh, vertical line. It will be more uh, easy for you uh, in examination. And then uh, once you mark the uh, you know dry bulb temperature, this is called constant dry bulb temperature, and this uh, blue color line uh, represents constant wet bulb temperature, and so on. And then you can even mark uh, the saturation point and the uh, corresponding humidity ratio like this. So you can see the aqua color or the blue color lines, uh, light blue color lines I've just mentioned to draw the uh, horizontal lines representing the saturation point and the humidity ratio, right? So this is actually the 100% uh, you know, uh, psychometric chart. So I hope um, I've made you clear in how to construct psychometric chart. Um, try practicing in your graph sheet. It'll be useful for you uh, during examination. So um, that's it regarding the psychometric chart. And uh, are there any questions um, before we uh, move on to the next concept? So how you made those silver lines? Silver. These lines. Yes, sir. These are uh, saturation point and its corresponding saturation. I'll just show you. These are uh, saturation points, right? I've just yes, uh, connected uh, that with the corresponding uh, humidity ratio, which is actually okay, the humidity ratio. Like for example, this is actually the uh, y-axis, 15, 19, 24, 30, and so on. So I've just connected that, that's it. I've just connected that, 15, 19, 24, 30, 36 and so on, right? So that is why it is not coinciding with the uh, whole number. Whereas the yes. dry bulb temperature is the uh, actual whole number stuff. All right. Yes, sir. Right. Or you can even um, uh, map uh, 200, 190, 180 stuff also, but it'll be very, very clumsy. 
so it's not required also the graph the psychometry will be full of lines and it will be very difficult to interpret just like the original psychometric chart right all right so uh, are there any other questions